Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the mobile co mobile app coaching. My name is Glenn Tompkins, senior instructor here at VectorVest. If you can hear me, by all means, please respond in the affirmative, preferably with VV Nation, and let me know that you are coming across that I am coming across loud and clear. <coughs> Matthew says, "I thought Glenn was in LA. Nice to see you here. It was going to be LA for next week, Matthew." But unfortunately, we did cancel the LA live event, uh, the live event. Um, someone have they haven't already reached out to all of you. They will. So we're, we were going to be in LA next week, but that's not happening. So um, the cool thing about that is uh, Trending Thursday will be here as well as the mobile app coaching will be again on for next Friday as well. So just to let you know. All right. Uh, what was that? Was that me? Did I make that noise happen? Cool. Did you hear that noise or was that just me hearing stuff? Could it just be me? Be oh, it might just be me. Man, it was weird. Thought it was a crackling sound. So mobile app, uh, you know, my thing here right now on the mobile app is all about the power of the program in your pocket. That's what the mobile app is all about. So I'm glad to have you here being able to to put yourselves in the best possible position to use the mobile app without having to be tethered to your computer at home. A lot of us are too busy for that. I know Mark is out there riding around, going from place to place. He's got people to see, places to go, things to do. And sometimes um, you, you don't have the opportunity to sit behind your computer for the whole day. That's where the mobile app comes in. Whether it's on a tablet or on a phone, the power is there. The power is there. Robert says, I missed you. Okay, that was Robert talking to Lisa. Uh, Lisa is in the background and Ku is in the background as well. All right, with that, today's topics is all about the top picks, using the mobile app to find the top picks. It's the top industries and there's an industry that's on the rise. Uh, it's in the system. It's in the app. I'm going to bring it to your attention and why it's on the rise. And then the top screens, uh, best screens, depending on how you invest in the market. So again, no matter where you are, what you're doing, you have the ability to use the power of the VectorVest system to bring to the forefront what you need to do at all times. Starting right from the homepage. As we look at the homepage right here and now, the market's down. All right, market's down. All of the major indices are down. Looks like the Dow is down about a tenth of a percent. Uh, the NASDAQ is leading the charge to the downside, down about four tenths, followed by the S&P. And then the composite is down about a quarter of a percent. And then, you know, we've got this set up for you guys, especially on the mobile app, to keep your eyes on certain things like gold down today. Remember, I've been a big fan of just letting you know, be careful with gold. It's all about the strength of the dollar. Is the dollar strong? Is it not strong? That's what dictates still in my in my mind the movement of the dollar oil is under some selling pressure a lot of that comes from russia russia is selling dirt cheap oil dirtier dirt cheap oil uh and people are buying it they don't need our oil and then at some point in time folks i'm still in the mindset we got to replace our oil reserves there's kinross gold down today someone wanted to look at mortgages there it is we got mort up there down about a 20 a tenth of a percent look at this rem that's rapid eye movement. Isn't that a group too? Isn't REM a group? What song did they sing? Who sang me in the losing my religion? Wasn't that REM? Hmm. Anyway, uh, it's down about a half a percent today. So right here on the home page of the mobile app, just as we open it up, we are privy to a lot of what's going on. And again, uh, and for those people who are end of day who are not using the mobile app, you know that. Once you have the mobile app, you now move to the app to intraday data, even though you have end of day data. I think that that's a big benefit to many people out there who are on end of day and don't even still don't even know. They're not even here. We need to get more of those people here, not even knowing that they have access to intraday data um, with the mobile app. Robert says, R.A.M. was losing my religion and everyone. See, I told you. See, there it is. My music acumen is beyond reproach. Mm. Take that in. My music ad, my music acumen is beyond reproach. Mark says, just booked a booth for a disaster expo in Anaheim with stops in Phoenix. That's going to be a long time using the mobile app. Listen, but you know something? You, you know something, Mark? 
you will not be without vector vests. And that's what the important thing is. You will, no matter where you are, no matter where you travel, near, far, wherever you are, you will always have the Vector Vest Mobile in your hands to trade. Okay, so there we go. That was another remix. That, that, that was another remix. All right. So as we look at the home page, we also get access to what market timing signals are, you know, are, are what the what the market timing signals are doing. I like the DEW. I like the primary wave. Notice that the primary wave is still up. But even though it's up, do you still take advantage, especially if you're out and about? How comfortable are you going to be taking advantage of stocks today, even though the primary wave is up, knowing that all of the major indices are down? So even though the primary wave is up, you still got to be careful. Uh, down here as well, we have our daily market update every day. Well, you guys already know that every day we put out um, guidance. And if you're not watching it, folks, you need to. If you're not watching it, you need to. That's one of the benefits of being a subscriber to the VectorVest software. But the power of the program in your pocket, we give you the opportunity to watch the video while you're on the go. And Mark, the cool thing about that is you can just listen to it for anybody. Put it on in the background. Put it on in the background to get the analysis of knowing what you should be doing. Then we have our strategy of the week. Again, if you're on a ride to get from one place to another, mobile, uh, you can listen to the weekly presentation. I've got the special presentation for this week. So uh, it'll be up for all of next week for you guys to pay attention to. Here's the newsletter. I can click on it. If you don't want to listen to it, you can read it. Markets and mix from banking sector concerns. There's the timing. There's the extended view of the color guard. And here's the guidance. And if nothing else, if you don't listen or want to read, always just at least go down to the guidance. Prudent investors may buy stocks long if the market is rising. Well, the market's not rising today. Aggressive investors and traders should play the market as it develops. Right now, on a day-over-day -day basis, we're down. Uh, I've been watching the BSR for confirmation. Is that a good idea? I, absolutely, Chris. So remember when I tell you, to let, I always say, let the market come to you. Never try to outguess the market. If the market is looking for a bottom, it'll let you know. It can be at the levels, the BSR and MTI could be at the levels of looking for a bottom for a minute. What are we looking for? I laid it out in a strategy of the week, you know, or um, what was it? I laid it out somewhere. I laid it out in a video. I laid it out in a video recently. What do you look for? You look for the blast off day. You look for confirmation. The market's not there yet, Chris. So yes, do you want to look for confirmation in the buy-to-sell ratio? Absolutely. Uh, Joe Mama, I love that name. Joe Mama says, that's what I'm doing. Sitting, teaching advanced driving techniques, watching drivers race around the track in my parked car, but listening in. Listen, I tell you, it's the power of the program in your pocket. Man, I love that. I love that, Joe Mama. I still love that name. And I'm going to say it every time I can. I'm going to say that every time I can, Joe Mama. All right. Remember back in the day we used to do make you uh, make the Yo Mama jokes? There's a lot of fights had back in my day. That was back in the hood. We did that. There was a lot of fights had, so. Uh, but I still love that name, Joe. All right. So as we scroll down a little bit more, the one in the five-day winners for those more aggressive people, which uh, strategies are working in both the one-day and the five-day, noticing that. Bullish, 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 bullish. And on the top, that's on the five day on the uh, one day, uh, short, 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 short. Ah, so on the one days, all short. On the five days, all bullish. So I've got no combination that 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 mixes, uh, that messes there. All right. So that is from the view standpoint. Again, looking at what's going on right from the onset of just opening up the app. All right, and then you'll see at the top we have upcoming events. We got a covered call scenario coming up, so that's that's also to keep you in the know. All right, so now what's the next thing we want to look for? Well, all of the major indices are down, uh, all of the major market calls are down, but the primary wave is up. For those people who are a little bit more aggressive, be careful. But if you do want to see what the stock, what the best stock picks are, go to the stock pick ideas. All right, right from here. And if you're more aggressive, you still want to look at hot stocks or high momentum stocks, they're there for you as well. 
All I'm telling you is in a market like this where the market's moving down today, but uh, I'm looking at stocks that have upside capability. Well, let's go take a look. Tio is a stock that's been rocking and rolling. Anybody touch on that stock yet? This stock has been kicking butt and taking names up almost another 9% today. Let's click on it. Now, I say this from a more aggressive perspective. Let's click on that graph. Look at that graph. Now, if you're a little bit more aggressive, you like the move of the stock. I'm looking at a three month graph with the three and the eight. I'm looking at RT. You can't fight this, but I'm gonna put on something here. Graph, let's go, I'm going to put on, not envelopes, I'm wondering if I can put on, you know, I'd like to have the ability, since I did the video on stops, I'd like to have the ability to put on our stop indicator. Three month daily, upper graph, moving averages, envelope support resistance. I would like to be able to put the stop price on here. Nonetheless, nonetheless, if you are interested in still buying into this stock, how about we do this? Let's set an alert, set an alert, create an alert, and I'm going to set this alert right at the high of today. If the stock's price, if we still think that this stock has got some upside, I'm going to set an alert for $3.21. It will send me an alert on the app. I'm going to go click on create. And now when TO is crossed above that value, it will send me an alert. Manage active alerts. I've got four out there. All right. Four. This makes the fifth one. I love this. Again, the ease of being able to be out on the road and have the system alert me when a stock meets a specific criteria for me to go and get into it. I love that. All right, what other stock is up there? Spock. Live long and prosper. Yeah, that's the Spock stock. All right, let's go take a look at it on a three month graph. Uh, actually go back to uh, the one year. Love the earnings per share on that. Earnings per share is growing as the stock's price is growing. Uh, relative value, it's got good upside potential. The safety's not there. It's in an uptrend. Overall VST above one. Hmm. And it is undervalued. Uh -huh. It's trading undervalued. Let's go look at my three month graph. There it is. Same scenario. Uh, RT is above one. Three and the eight look good. Let's go back to the main graph. Let's go see if we can set up an alert. Create an alert. I move my little blue line with my finger right there. I like that. If it can break above that level of resistance, give me a shout out. I, I created the alert. Oops, I already created the alert. Manage the alert. There's another one for Spock. I uh, notice that my alerts as they pop up on my screen. Will, that's for a super watchdog. Let's go from a top pick. Let's go look at my watchdogs. Now, this is for the people who do have the desktop and are using the mobile app. You can, and if you've got Watchdog, you can set up your Watchdog on your um, desktop, but it will send an alert when it hits the, uh, the, uh, the when, when the Watchdog hits the alert, it'll send an alert to your mobile device. So Super Watchdog alert hit for HBIO. Let me view it. Hmm. I don't know if I really want to buy that. On the one year graph, see the pullback? Let's go to a three month graph. Hmm. It might have met the criteria for my watchdog. But as I look at the graph right now, I don't think I'm really in love with trying to buy that right now. All right. So I'm going to use a combination of looking at the top picks in the software or in the mobile app. But as a desktop user, I can look at who I'm not feeling that one either. I can look at these alerts that are coming up from my watchdog. Ooh, it's clicking on that one. The three and the eight are conversion. RT is still above one. It's leveling out a little bit. I'm going to try to put me an alert on this one. Go back, set up an alert, create an alert. Let's go to that level of resistance, which looks at about 66.50. Let's go create. So as I get my watchdogs to come up, I look at the graphs. 
And if I'm interested, oof, that one's all over the place. If I'm interested, I can set an alert right on the app. All right, let me back up. <clears throat> Let's go back up to the stock, the top picks. So we were looking at the hot stocks. Let's go look at TAST. Wow, that looks beautiful. Uh, the relative values and relative safeties are both below one. So it's this is more of a speculative play. But let's zoom in. Look at that stock. Wow, I like that. Let's go back one screen. Let's set an alert. Create an alert. Folks, you notice how quickly and easily I can do this? You see that? Just as I'm talking. So I'm going to set an alert when the stock's price crosses above 517. That uh, <clears throat> Think about getting into the stock. I love that equity curve. Now you know why I wanted to look at today the top picks. Because this is now on a day like today, though, I'm still letting these stocks come to me. Notice that I'm not pulling the trigger on any of these trades. I'm looking for a, a buy stop, letting the trade come to me so that if these stocks are still moving up against the trend of the day and giving me an opportunity to quickly get in, that's what I'm looking for. All right. G O O G met the super ones. Let's go. There's another alert. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go check that one out. Ooh, look at that gap up over the last year. I don't like the falling earnings, though. Look at that gap up. Relative value below one. The company makes money. Relative safety is above one. Relative time is stocks in an uptrend and a good VST. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that rising RT breaking out of the channel. Look at that. And, and I can pinch uh, and spread to give me more look at the graph. Hmm. If nothing else, I can set an alert. If nothing else, I can set an alert. Let's go set an alert, create a new alert. Look at that. Set that a little higher than the high. It gives me a price of 118.31. And again, when these pop up, as far as an alert, it'll pop up a little differently. Um, recent alerts, I'll click on recent alerts. Notice all of those look like dogs because those are all watchdog alerts. But if I can, oops, if I continue to scroll down, I saw one I thought. I'll get a different, this is an alert for a market timing call. Primary wave up for Canada, bingo. How about that? So whether you're in the US market or the Canadian market, you can get the alerts while you're on the run. Look at that, green light buyer neutral, all right? Uh, on some of my portfolios, it gives me my alerts as well. So it's a well-rounded alerting system being on the, uh, you know, being on the go. Green light buyer up one day ago. Look at that. But when it gives me an alert that a stock is moved up through a, uh, uh, an alert, sigh, it'll be in here somewhere. Up, uh, hold on. Did I just pa I pass something? It'll look like a graph. All right, that's what I really wanted to do is just tell you, it would look like a graph. So the beautiful thing about the alerts is not only is it giving you the alerts, but it's giving you some semblance of what kind of an alert, whether it's in a portfolio, whether it's a market timing call, whether it's from a watchdog, whether it's from a pricing alert, it will give you all of that as well. Let's go back to the stock pick ideas. All right, so we looked at a couple of stocks in, hot stocks. Let's go to high momentum. Again, more so for the people who are a lot more aggressive and looking for stocks, trying to move against the trend of the market. You, uh, LNTH is a stock that I've loved, but you know what else is kind of cool? When I just pull it up, look at the equity curves. I can look at what equity curves catch my eye automatically and click on it. UFPT. All right. Wow. Look at that. Good, googly, muggly, UFPT. Look at that run over the last year with rising earnings, good fundamentals, relative value, relative safety, both above one. Gotta love that. And there it is. Again, I'm finding it in the app that simply. Uh, let's go see if I want to put an alert on this one. Hmm. Let's go set up alert. And all I'm keep doing is keep clicking on that little bell, create an alert. Nice level of resistance sitting at the price of about 151.11. All right, let's click on it. We've got that alert set. Let's go see what other stocks are in here. LNTH, gotta love that too. Wow, look at all of these stocks. Folks, as 
a someone trying to be on the move, or if you're on the move, how quickly out of over 9,000 stocks is the mobile app bringing these candidates to your fingertips? The power of the program in your pocket. What would you suggest for someone that trades on a weekly chart? What type of search or is it all relative? King Louie, I got something for you in a second. You sit right there. I got I got something for you in a second. AGJ, look at look, just look at all of these stocks. All of these stocks are potential stocks for you to look at. Man, these stocks just look butamous. Not all of them. That one doesn't look as butamous. That was a stock that I was playing actually for gold that I recently got out of. The stock is pulling back towards my moving average that I have on the graph. Uh, T-A-S-T, man, these, a lot of these stocks look butamous. And again, from a time-saving perspective, how much work did you have to do to find these stocks? All right, so um, that was from a hot stock perspective. King Louie, I'm going to give you something that I think you and everyone would like to, to keep your eyes on. From And this is one step for you, King Louie, from the more of a trade on the weekly charts, I'm always going to tell you to keep your eyes on the hottest industries because a lot of times, a lot of times, um, you'll see a stock that's starting to move. You don't pay any attention to it and it moves some more. You don't pay attention to it and it moves some more. And by the time you pay attention to it, the stock starts to give back. So to keep you to find the stocks that are on the rise early, I'm always going to let you know uh, to keep your eyes on the best industry. So you'll see right here where it says hot industries. Let's go look at leisure toy games. That's the hottest industry that we have. So King Louie, would I be comfortable telling you from a weekly standpoint to hold on to these? Well, let's go take a look at the top one in here. Um, Long term, let's go put this three month graph. I like that. I like that, King Louie. Look at that three-month graph. What is the stock doing right now? Consolidating, but the three and the eight are solid. RT is above one. That's not a bad-looking play. Let's go to the next one. Hmm, I'm not feeling that one. So if I'm trying to look for something long-term, I'm not feeling that over the last year. Wow, that jumped up, and I'm not feeling that. Uh, that's starting to move. See Mattel starting to move? That may not be a bad play. Let's click on that one, dig a little deeper. I do like the move, bounce off of support. So remember, this is the top industry that we have. I'm trying to find a stock that may have been beaten up that's starting to move. Does that make sense, King Louie? And actually, does that make sense to everybody in here? So all I'm really doing is I went to the industry and I started to look at the stocks within the industry to help me to determine whether or not I want to be in those to hold uh, on a weekly basis. This is the industry I want everybody to keep their eyes on. Building. It is the number two industry in the database. Why is building so high on my radar? I'll tell you why. Because we've got a lot of money being put into the country for bringing manufacturing back to the United States, such as um, manufacturing plants for semiconductors. TSMC has got a lot of money into a big project to build a big factory here in the United States. Batteries, battery manufacturers for EVs is being built. Um, Tesla just breaking ground in Texas for a lithium factory. More factories are going up to go towards clean energy in the uranium space. Factories need to be built. So I think that the building industry is at a point where you guys cannot ignore it. Does that make sense to everybody? Uh, type of one if it does. The building industry is a place that I do not want you guys to fall asleep. Don't sleep on this space. And even better yet, if you are a desktop user, I really want you to pay attention to building cement. Why? Because all of these buildings are going to need cement. Pay attention also to building steel or just look at the steel industry. Pay attention also to the glass industry. Folks, we're going to have a boom 
an industrial boom and an industrial building because of what we're trying to bring out, bring back to the United States and take back out of China. So I want you to pay attention in, in the mobile app building is here, but as a desktop person, I want you to pay attention to those three industries, building cement, steel, and glass. Copper is going to play a role, Mike. Um, I think I like copper more so for other things, but I think that you're right in the whole building aspect. There's a lot of copper. So Mike, you know something, I'll take that back. I think copper is another one that you got to keep your eyes on. So in the app though, we've got the building um, industry. Let's go see what stocks I like. Uh, I want to see one that's in the green. Pulte. Now Pulte more so is for homes more so than industrial. But look at that equity curve. You can't fight the graph. Look at that. Holy smokes. Look at that three month graph. That's a beautiful thing. Let's go see if we can set up an alert. Let's go set up an alert. Move that up a little bit. Create. I got a lot of alerts going out. So when this happens, the beautiful thing about this is when it happens, it'll send me an alert. Wow, DHI, just keep scrolling. Wow, look at that, TPH. Whew, you can't, wow, you can't argue it. But again, what am I looking at? I'm looking at the power of the program in my pocket by looking at the best industries. Uh, King Louis and Builder, that's a stock that we're gonna take a look at for you today. So King Louis, that was one way for me to show you stocks to invest in on a weekly basis. I like the idea of looking at what the what industries are the best and taking advantage of those. Insurance, people keep telling me, what do you think about insurance? Well, it's the number three industry right now. Which ones do I like? Hippo, Hungry Hungry Hippo. Anybody remember that game? Um, I'm trying to find one. I wanna find, I, this is the beautiful thing about looking at the stock. I wanna find a graph that looks worth my time that I would want to take advantage of. I'm not feeling that. Now, it's interesting that it's the third best industry, but as I look at the stocks, AJG, there it is. That's what's pulling it up. AJG, down day to day, but look at it on a three-month graph. Wow, that's great. So for those people who are asking me about stocks in specific industries, if they're one of the top industries in the software, They'll be right here, and you can take a look at finding stocks in there. Builder is, again, a good play. All right, so now I'm going to give you part two of answering your question for being on a weekly, uh, being in a weekly uh, uh, stock, stock on a weekly basis. Let's go over to, where do I want to go? Oh, I want to stay with the stock pick ideas, all right? Because now for you, Louie, based upon how you invest in the market, I want to make sure that I'm putting you in, uh, let's go to premium watch list. That's what I want. I want to make sure that I'm putting you in good stocks. So why, from a premium watch list, why not look at top VST stocks? All right, let's go look at what else is in here that I would really want. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I would look at top VST stocks. Um, there's something else that I'm looking for. My watch list, no, my portfolios. I know what I'm thinking about. I just got to, oh, there it is. Right there, screener. Let's go to uh, explore screens, Louie. Now, depending on, you're trying to be a little bit more prudent to conservative, right? Being in stocks a little longer. So now from the screener perspective, why not use from the mobile app, a screener that fits what your goals are? This sounds like you're trying to be prudent, right? Let's go find a screener for Prudent. And guess what, Louie? There's four, there's four, so, uh, four screens for being Prudent. We'll click on it. And now I can feel a little bit more comfortable in finding stocks to be in from a weekly standpoint. Does that make sense? Reza, I'm coming to you in a second. Reza, I'm coming to you in a second. Does that make sense to everybody? So now from a Prudent perspective, let's go look what stocks are here. SMCI, these are some really good looking stocks. Look at these VSTs. Look at these VSTs. Would you feel comfortable trying to stay in these stocks a little longer than just a day or so? Quick thing, if I have the ability, I can look at the design. 
the criteria on this prudent temperament price is greater than uh, price and volume greater than a hundred thousand no etf contras no exchange traded funds all right pretty straightforward if i run it today smci would you feel comfortable king louis being in a stock like this longer term how about fnc fcma how about celsius eh, not as much I, that's a little bit more. Uh, uh, wow, look at that one. TGLS, Techno Glass. Oh, what, what was the, in, uh, the industry I said? One of the industries, glass. TGLS on the move. I got, you know, on the move. I guess dividend stocks would be best for retirement accounts. Absolutely, Michael. You know, the beautiful thing about in being retirement stocks is generating income. So, Dividend stocks, and I'm going to take that a step further, Michael, as I answer that question. Dividend stocks that pay, that, that trade options, and then they go up in price. You can make money three times on that stock in your retirement account on price appreciation, options by selling covered calls, and then knowing that it pays a dividend quarterly, that's three ways to make money. One way is just um, on the stock's price movement. The other two ways are actually passive income. So Michael, dividend stocks would be ideally suited for retirement accounts, but having the added bonus of them being optionable as well gives you a third way <clears throat> to make money on that stock. But look at that, TGLS, TGS, Transport Gas, uh, M Y R G look, just look at these equity curves, beautiful equity curves. So let me go to you. Who was that? Reza. Let's go to you. Let's say, <clears throat> use the same principle. And if I'm a little bit more aggressive, why not go to the screens for aggressive bingo? All right. TGLS looks mighty good if it breaks that consolidation. But again, having the mobile app at least reiterate or let you know that that industry is on the rise and looking at the graphs based upon how you invest in the market. Man, folks, how difficult is it to do this? So not only is it the power of the program in your pocket, it's the ease of being able to get the information. There's nothing going on but the rent. You got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. I am not going through tons of steps and writing programs to do what I'm showing you. So Reza, let's go look at the aggressive screens, aggressive stocks and best stocks below 20. Let's go to best stocks below 20. Bingo. All right. So Reza, you want to look at that aggressive stuff. All right. Could be my internet. There we go. Let's go look at these. Let's go look at these on a three month graph. All right, there you go. Now, as I look at ASRT, I'm watching the wicks on the most recent candles. I'd be careful with that. Let's go to the next one. I like this. TGS, I like that. The 388 cross, RT is above one. Three month graph broke through a couple of levels of resistance. I like that. Watch Opera. Uh, it was moving up and down day to day. It doesn't discourage you though. Uh, doesn't discourage you though, but at least keeps your eyes on it. Wow, TL. And again, this stock, good, googly moogly. This stock has just been rocking and rolling. Is it too late to get into it? Well, that's why I set an alert for it to make sure that it's doing still what I want it to do, which is go up in price before I pull the trigger on it. So is it too late? As long as it's going to keep going, no. Jay Finn, Jay is not here, but he doesn't like Jay Finn. That's big consolidation. That's. Eh, that, I still like that stock. I don't like the wicks, but that's why I got the alert set where I got it. That's crazy volatile. Well, that's part of being part of an aggressive side. It's a little bit crazy volatile. I'm not sure I really like that one. That one is falling. That one is right at a level of resistance. I keep my eye on it. Wow, look at that. From an aggressive standpoint, uh, Reza, I like that. I'm gonna look at the equity curve. And that's why I look at the graphs before I make a decision. Some of these I just don't like. That's probably news driven. Let's go see. I want to see what the news is on that. That's probably news driven. 
I don't know if that's an earnings play. And how cool is this while I'm still on the fly being able to just look at what's going on on the fly? Uh, nine days ago, let's go to press release. Nine, nothing is moving the stock. I got no news. I got no news really moving the stock. So I'd be very wary of that, even though it's an aggressive move. Up 111% today, as you can see. News driven, but I don't know what the news is. That's a red flag for me. All right, that's a red flag for me. But because it's a big move, that's an aggressive play. Uh, APYX, uh, and it, not that looks like CTIC looks like he got bought. CTIC looks like he got bought. Can anybody back me up on that? The graph shows me it looks like it got bought. Some of these graphs don't look so good, but I can make that. RCMT is a stock that I'm keeping my eye on. As a matter of fact, it's going to be in one of the stocks in tonight's um, 6 p.m. video. I'm, this stock is on my radar, and it's up another almost 4% today. This stock is on my radar. Go check out why. Don't forget the 6 p.m. video tonight. This is one of my five stocks that are being talked about but it's found its way into the mobile app. I love that the mobile app brings to fruition or brings to the front of my mind a lot of the stocks that you find on the desktop. Well, it's the same program. The power of the program in your pocket to bring those stocks that are on people's minds, to bring those stocks that are on the move, to bring those stocks that are making noise right to your palm, all right? Building sector has some stocks with good VST. Absolutely. I'm telling you that the building side of the market right now, don't, don't sleep on it, especially those four. Chris gave me the fourth one, but um, building cement, steel, glass, copper. Pay attention to those industries, folks. You'll thank me later. I pay attention to those industries. You'll thank me later. All right. So Reza, that was for you to show you the aggressive side. All right. So that was um, a couple of the things that I wanted to show you for today um, was looking at top picks, looking at what industries are moving, and then uh, looking at scans. Scans are, scans are important depending on how you invest in the, mar in the market. Robert says, I like the mobile apps. Uh, mobile app alerts when I'm away from home. Again, what is this all about? If you're not able to be sitting in front of your computer all the time, that's what I'm looking at right here. I'm looking at this on my iPad mini. I like the size of the mini because it's a big bigger than the phone, but a little less bigger. Where's my, my iPads in the car? I got the iPad Pro 12.9 12 12 inch. So I got a big old iPad. This iPad mini plays the role beautifully, especially being out on the road. It's a little bit bigger than the phone to be able to watch to see what's going on. I think it's the right. I think it's the Goldilocks of the Goldilocks scenario of the mobile app. iPad mini. Yeah. Reza says, thank you. How can I trade with you? Well, you know something you can sort of let's go to who my portfolios. I've got a portfolio that I've been running since we've started the mobile app called the mobile app portfolio. As I get these alerts that we've set up to say it's okay to buy a stock, I start putting them in. My biggest stop is that if any of these stocks go against me 10%, I'm out of them. All right. So we've made some good picks so far. I haven't found any other stocks recently that gave me an alert to buy. So I haven't put any new stocks in as, as of yet. But as you notice, I've got three Contras in here. I think it's a great way to really stay on top of being what, uh, what's going on in the market and staying diversified. If I set an alert for a Contra and it hits, it's in here. If I set an alert for a long stock, it's in here. I've got a great combination of stocks in here. Overall, since we started, we're up about four tenths of a percent. I'll take that. That's not bad. We are trading on a paper trading um, $100,000 portfolio. So I'm putting $10,000 per position. Remember, if you've got a lot smaller portfolio, you just, you know, put in less money, you know, but I want you to paper trade this just like I am. All right. And as I get new alerts, the stocks will go into this portfolio and we'll watch this. <clears throat> so 
when you ask the question, how can I trade with you? This is the closest that we're going to be able to get. You can see what stocks we have. As the stocks hit the stop criteria, um, we'll go and add more stocks. Michael says, where is the icon to set an alert? Well, you set the alert from <clears throat> um, either a, a stock itself, but I've been doing them by looking at a graph. So when I look at a graph of a stock, now I'm going to go look up a stock. Let's go look at the graph. Give me a stock. A builder. You said you were in builder. Let's go B-L-D-R. All right, let's go click on builder. When I click on the graph, it brings up automatically a one-year graph, Michael. So on this one-year graph, I can set an alert right here. See that little uh, bell icon? That's where I can set my alert, all right? Now, there's another way to set an alert. Let's say that I was looking for building, we're gonna build a portfolio now. I'm gonna click on the plus, well, I don't wanna build a portfolio. Actually, I wanna go to watch list. I'm gonna build a new watch list. I'm gonna click on the plus. When I do that, we're gonna create a, a watch list for you guys right now. So let's go add builder, B-L-D-R. What other stocks are you looking at? You notice that as I'm building this watch list, it's creating a list down below this white space. You want to look at gold. So do you want to look at GLD? We'll look at GLD. How about that? I, I click on it. It puts it as another stock below. <clears throat> you want MO? Let's go MO, Altura. We'll click on it. It's going to continue to build this list for me. Elf, Elf, Elf Beauty was a hot stock. I didn't know if it was still going on or not. But Elf Beauty is a is a great stock. Uh, ACLS, ACLS. I click on it, add it. Uh, A dot LG, Jim. If that's outside of the United States, right now I'm only there. You go, Jim. Thank you for that. AJG, AJG, Art Gallagher. Uh, watch this. Rolex, Omega. Uh, can I? Do I have a, a, a Rolex R E? Rolly, 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 Rolex. I ain't got a symbol for Rolex. I don't know. It's probably under another parent company. Uh, LW. Michael, did we go through this last week? Is it LW? Or I LW. You want Lamb Weston? Is that it, Michael? While you're answering, I'll go to the next stock. SFL. SFL. We'll add that. It is LW. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. LW uh, and LAC. LAC. Boom. Any other stocks going once, twice, three times a lady. I got nice of 60% on Elf. I still like Elf. All right, now that it's there, uh, Rolex is private. Thank you, Ken. OVV, you done with OVV? Yeah, you know me. And J and J, you want J and J? Johnson and Johnson. All right. Now I'm gonna go create a, uh, to the bottom where it says create watch list, and I'm going to name it today's date. What's today's date? Five. Um, go one, two, three, five, twelve, twenty-three. Click on OK. Here's our watch list. We created it. All right, first things first, we'll see that this is sorted by VST. So the stocks that you've given me, we'll see which ones have the best combination of value, safety, and timing. SFL is at the bottom of the list. Interesting, though, that out of all of the stocks that you gave me, only three stocks are just right at the cusp of being okay VST stocks. You're right at 0.99. That's the lithium, which I still, I still am a big fan of. Uh, OVV, I ain't down with that. I don't know. And SFL, notice that OVV and SFL are the only two that are sell recommendations. Now, when I go to click on the stock, you see that's where the bell where I can give, uh, add an alert. If I click the three dots, I can't add an alert here, but I can, I do have, if I wanna learn more about the stock, I can get the stock news. I can view the stock analysis report. Let's click on view report. I can get a full blown stock analysis report. Now that's specifically for those stocks that are out there that you're wanting to take a look at that you don't know what they are. I definitely 
and uh, encourage you to go take a stock, uh, take advantage of the stock analysis report. Um, trade now if you have the systems, if you have your system set up with one of our partner brokers, you can use the trade now function, use the news, add to a portfolio, or add to a watch list. All right. So the alert looks like I thought it was a different way to add an alert, but it looks like the alert can only be added from that one year graph. Looking at that one year graph, and again, click on the little bell in the top right next to the price. That's where you set up your alert. That's where you set up your alert. So we're going to go down the list all the way from the best stock by VST to the lowest. Uh, AJG, like the equity curve. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put some three month graph. I like the equity curve. Man, look at that. Hmm, that was something I would keep my eyes on. No, I don't want to do that because I want to look at the RVs and the RSs. Fundamentally sound stock. This is a great fundamentally sound stock. What is the difference between a watch list and a portfolio? Michael, a watch list actually just looks at stocks that you're interested in. A portfolio will track from a specific point the performance of stocks in a list. You know, looking at price and all that kind of stuff. All right. So I can see how well the portfolio has performed, whereas a watch list, there's no performance beyond today. It looks at what it's doing today. All right. Uh, AI, please. Uh, let me see if I have time. Uh, probably I, I got the stocks that I have for today. Reza next week is another week. We can look at AI then. All right. Let me look through these stocks. Uh, Builder, again, industry. Somebody said they own Builder. Builder looks good on the one year graph. Relative value below one, but relative safety definitely above one. RT above one, like the VST, the stock's price is moving, rising uh, relative, uh, rising earnings per share. ACLS, be careful with this. I like the graph, but I don't like to put this into a three month graph by just tapping on the graph. The stock's got to get out of its own way. It's in a channel within a channel. All right, it's in a channel within a channel. I'd like to see it get out of its own way. And not only that, RT looks like it's about to, if it hasn't already gone below one. All right, tells me that the momentum on the stock is really waning. Wow, look at Elf Beauty. You know something? Look at that, um, that moving average. Let's go click on that. No, 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 no. Um, what is that? I don't know what that is. I think it's a moving average. I believe it is. None. No, oh, it is. Simple moving average, 40 days. See the little blue box at the top right? Blue box at the top right says 40 day moving average. Man, that's been a great stock. And you know something? Recently, it's pulled back, but the 40 day moving average still has you in it. Interesting, huh? Uh, look at that. Lamb Weston, buy recommendation, fundamentally sound, both relative value, relative safety above one, overall VST at 1.21. Look at that equity curve. Gold, a little bit more choppy in the move uh, because it's an ETF. It's not about relative value, relative safety, but it is about relative timing. It is still in an uptrend, but it is pulling back towards that 40 day Moving average. Reza, nope, I'm not going to look at I got the stocks that I got for today. And I said that next week is another week. I'll look at AI possibly next week, my friend. Okay. Um, MO, hold recommendation. You see that real quick. Sideways moving stock. Don't know if I really want to be in it. Relative value is above one. Relative safety is below one. But I'm looking at the equity curve of the stock. Uh, nothing's telling me that I'm real warm and fuzzy about getting into it. Same thing with Johnson and Johnson right now. It's actually faded that gap. Put that on a three month graph. Graph. It faded. See that gap that happened back in late March. Look at that. We actually faded that gap. The stock looks like it's got some more downside at this particular point in time. Wow. Lithium is just a tough play. Uh, but with all of the, the demand on EVs, lithium should be rock and rolling, but it ain't. I like that you can see the value of the stock right below the current price. And I love that you talk about the earnings per share. Uh, and I do like that. Or you're looking at value itself. See if the stock is under or overvalued right down below. You can see if it's under or overvalued. But I also want to make sure that you're in stocks that have rising earnings. Wow. OVV. Now I can see why it's a sell rated stock. Woo, below the 40 earnings per share is up there, but pulling back. Relative value is up there. It's good, got good upside. What's hurting it right now is RT is below one. All right, it's got good upside. The safety is eh. 
but it's what's hurting it is the relative timing and the last one is sfl same scenario good upside potential the safety is not there but relative timing is below one showing me that right now even though it's got good upside potential it doesn't have the momentum needed to keep moving higher so folks what we did today let's recap we really went over what's going on on the home page we looked at all of the market timing signals we talked about some of the top picks for you to take a look at you know whether you're aggressive whether you're prudent i still want you guys to keep your eyes on contra ets right i think that the market has more downside and if we go back if we go back to stock pick ideas actually if we go back to the premium watch lists Premium watch list has a whole list of Contra e, uh, ETFs. I still want you to keep this watch list on standby. I still think we got a lot more downside. I could be wrong. All right. I still look at these equity curves, though. Look at these equity curves, even though they're sorted by RT. Look at these equity curves. These Contras are still on the rise right now. Keep your eyes out on those stocks. All right. So we talked about some of the hot picks. We looked at some screeners to help us. And we looked at what industries were rising. And again, the mobile app, we only have the top five industries in here. I think that's by design. You don't need any more than that. If you're out on the road trying to make sure that you make a good decision and buying something, why not buy something in a hot industry? All right? And make sure that you're buying on an up day. All right, as I look, look at this. You know, even though I went and showed you all of these things to buy, look at the graphs. I'm sorry, look at the um, look at the 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 indices. The indices are all down. I tell you to be careful. All of those stocks that I talked about buying today are all designed for the more aggressive trader. All right. So with that, I think we're done for the day. Reza, make sure you're here next week. I'll make sure we look at AI. I'll make sure we look at AI. All right, with that, anybody else have any questions before we go? All right, Drew says, thank you, Glenn. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Drew, for it. Thank you all for being here. How many likes did we get? Let's go check that out. You know me. I got. I always want us to get like 100 likes. We got 19 likes. Wow. I'm not used to that. I know that the mobile app is still new for me, but if it was worth it for you to stop by, hit the like button, right? If you learned something, hit the like button. If you didn't learn something, hit the like button. If you like Glenn, hit the like button. If you hate Glenn, hit the like button. Hit the like button no matter what, on it. All right, hit the like button. And after this is up, don't forget to share this. Share this with people that you know. The mobile app is the power <clears throat> of the program in your pocket. A lot of people, mobile apps are nowhere near as simple as what we have. So make sure you share it. All right, I got to go. You guys have a great weekend. Uh, I'll see you live on Monday at 12 o'clock for midday market action, uh, midday market update. I'll see you then. And don't forget the 6 p.m. video tonight. We'll be looking at a couple of stocks that are out there that people are talking about, whether good or bad. It's going to be about should you buy or should you fly? Folks, uh, um, let me see. I look forward to your RCMT review tonight. It's it's an interesting stock that I like, and I'll tell you why. I registered for the cover call lesson. Way to go, Fire Blazer. Way to go. All right, folks, have a great weekend. Adios, arrivederci. Ciao, au revoir, sayonara, aloha to all my peeps in Hawaii. Bom dia, salam, shalom, namaste. Yasu. Until the next time, folks, see ya.